Today we are looking at the Netgear AX1600 Wi-Fi 6 mesh range extender. I'll be using this with my BT Hub 2. We have 900 down and 110 up package. This extender is compatible with any router or router. And as this is a mesh extender, it will use the same SSID as your existing router. I'll leave a link in the description box below if you want to pick this up. If you find the video useful, a like would be appreciated and please subscribe to watch more reviews. So in my back garden, the speed is, well, I'll show you. I'll be using a Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra, which is a Wi-Fi 6E device. So this is a speed test on the BT Hub 2 without the Netgear AX1600. As you can see, that is not good. Let's go and connect the Netgear extender and we'll see if that makes a difference. Let's take a quick look around the box. So as you can see here, this has four streams, Wi-Fi mesh extender, it's letting us know here, AX1600 Wi-Fi extender. So we've got some information on this side. It has Wi-Fi 6 dual band. It uses the Nighthawk app and it even has a gigabit ethernet port. Some more information on this side. You could pause the video there if you want. Some paperwork, quick start, so it should be simple to set up. However, in my experience using Netgear extenders, they're not that simple to set up. I hope this is, but I don't know, we'll find out. Some information at the back. On this side of the extender, we have the WPS button, if you want to link it that way. We have reset hole there, a gigabit ethernet port. It has some information at the back. It has good airflow, this. Mine's a three pin one because I'm in the UK. That's what it looks like from the bottom if you're interested. The sides, the top, some LED indicators that we light up. So the first one is power, second one is router link LED, then the third one is client link LED, and then the WPS button LED, they will light up. Right, okay, let's set this up. As I mentioned before, I already have the app. Range extender. Okay, next. The extender's on. Okay, it's connecting to the extender. There it is, Netgear EXT. Let's connect to that. If I go back. Okay, I'll just put my password in off camera. They were connected. So I thought we'd take a quick look at the app device manager, internet speed. So even though you're showing us an image of a router or router going towards the internet, this is actually the speed that the extender is getting. The internet speeds are extremely fast. And Wi-Fi settings, so I have one name, fix my Wi-Fi for both, 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. Nice and simple app. Okay, let's go and do a speed test now. So the extender is connected and as you can see on the top near the Wi-Fi sign, it says six there because this extender is Wi-Fi six and the phone I'm using, the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra is a Wi-Fi six E device. So let's do a speed test now. I'm afraid it hasn't made a difference. It's actually gone down them before. So even though it's showing Wi-Fi 6, it hasn't made a difference. So as you see in the speed test there, it is not good. So if you're one of those basic users that just want to get a Wi-Fi extender and maybe set it up using the WPS button, pair it up with your router or router and plug the extender in somewhere where you have poor Wi-Fi and that's it, get on with it. 
this extender is not for you. I can slightly improve things if I go into settings, split the bands 2.4G and 5G. However, then I will have two separate SSIDs, well, three, including the BT. Main reason for buying this was to have one SSID. Unfortunately, in my case, this extender is a big no-no. However, if you don't mind splitting the bands and having separate SSIDs, then it may work for you. Hope you found this video useful. If you did, leave a like and please subscribe to watch more reviews. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.